All right, welcome back. This is um, chocolate cookies. Chocolate chips cookies. There are two different things. There is chocolate cookies and there is chocolate chips cookies. This is chocolate chips. Okay? These droplets. All right, you can... Um, Cookies with them is great, okay? It gives you a shade of light brown and dark brown. Okay, this is what I have here. I have wheat flour here. This is the wheat flour I use for baking purposes, okay? This is the wheat flour I use. This is all-purpose flour, corn flour. Corn flour helps me to achieve that chewy inside. You know, a good cookie generally should be crunchy on the outside and chewy on the inside. Then I have this, it's an um, almond, crushed almond. This one is kind of too smooth for me, but I'm going to manage it. I'm not going to prosecute the person that did it. I like my almonds not too smooth, okay? I like texture and um, this is um, sugar brown. This is um, white granulated sugar, a pinch of salt, egg, and um, 100 gram of um, butter. Now, this is the secret of cookies. Dear brothers and sisters in baking, because I don't know what to call you right now, or dear friend, ensure that your butter returns to room temperature like this listen and listen good if you bake cookies with um frozen butter you're never going to achieve anything with that please bring this close you're never going to achieve anything with that it will just be crumbling so allow your butter return to room temperature you see it it's so back to room temperature this is butter add your sugar to it and um, i just do this that's mixing it together now Okay, if you can't with your hand mix your butter and sugar like this, you are in for a long thing. I must let you know that. Okay, just mix it like that. And um, time is less than a minute. Thirty forty five seconds. I'm good. Okay, so I'm going to add one egg. That's all. A pinch of salt. That's it. Then I'm going to add um this one like quarter of a cup <laughs> I just love almond if you know me I'm sieving in my flour and um, um, wheat flour all-purpose flour and wheat flour and I have this chaff from my you see that's why I sieve Corn flour in. Is this something really very difficult? And with my spatula again, I combine. Combine, combine. All right, so 
I'm going to remove this right now and um, I'll be using my hand hope you don't have a problem with that if you do wear your gloves okay I need to open this flavor and like five mil of flavor then um, spoon to measure make two tablespoon of milk and boom <laughs> I can add more of that is actually a chocolate cookie um, recipe and this is this chocolate I mean this cookie belong to the group we call drop cookies okay drop cookies you are not you're not a piping you're just dropping it on the tray okay put it together properly put it together very well it will be so nice and filled with texture okay you know is it maryland cookie all right is it not looking like it? A little of dark brown and uh, all right. So I actually feel like adding more chocolate. Is it bad? <laughs> it's just the fun in the in this particular cookie. It's just fun to have too many chocolate chips in it you know but when you are doing it for commercial purposes you take into cognizance your costs and what people are willing to offer except you have this upper class kind of clients that um, can pay anything for what they want so look at the inside of the cookie that inside of the cookie all right so this is what it is let me set the pan and we'll come back to this Make sure you are achieving equal sizes. Okay, if you have a way of measuring, please measure equal size of um, cookies. This pan might be too small to bake, but you know, I'm going to cluster it and put it first in the oven. All right, you just get a ball size, very small, you know, and um, press it down. When I want to bake, I will spread it out. I'll use another tray. I'll show you before taking it to the oven, so. It's firm, it has structure, especially because you added um, wheat um, flour can i do without wheat flour yes you can make one and a half of all-purpose flour without wheat flour and it will still be fine just that it will be a bit softer than this See how gorgeous it's looking how pretty it is we will drop it inside the um, refrigerator for like 30 minutes um until it becomes very hard you know the essence of that is to help you retain its shape when you know um, you're baking it will not spread out too much and it will still cook evenly and nicely okay so yeah we are ready for the refrigerator now